Welcome to Mortgage Minutes, where we demystify the loan process for you. I'm your host, Austin Baker, along with my co-host, Jonathan Buck. What's up? Woo! Let's go. All right, Jonathan. What are we talking about today? So today we're going to be talking about non-realty addendum. And most of Austin I's videos are geared towards our borrowers and, and home buyers. But this one is for our referral partners, all the real estate agents out there. Most of y'all, most of y'all can probably do this better than me, at least the initial part of this video. But I'm just going to start with talking about the non-realty addendum in itself. Um, when you're buying a house, you're buying real estate, right? You're buying the house, you're buying the dirt, all the things that are fixed to the home. But there's non-real estate or non-realty items that you can buy, you know, paintings, lamps, furniture, and things like that. And so a lot of times, you know, people, yeah, a lot of times people want to buy items of the house. And so you put on that non-realty um, addendum. The problem though is when you're getting a loan and that non-realty addendum has an assigned value, Austin, we exactly. run into some issues sometimes. Yeah. And realtors are always like, and the seasoned ones, y'all know this, but if you're relatively new to the real estate industry, you might not be aware of the fact that that non-realty addendum, if you're getting a finance transaction, it needs to be zero on that value. And why? The reason why is because um, we, walk we, through all the issue. we have to subtract any value that's given on the non-realty addendum. We have to subtract that from whichever comes in less, the purchase price or the appraised value. So what value do you want to use on the non-realty? Yeah, let's just say five grand, you know, just a couple of pieces of furniture, nothing crazy. So got a house under contract for 400. You want some furniture, you have 5,000 on that non-realty addendum. All right, the appraisal comes in. Let's go high. Yeah, we'll go high. It can't 405. 405. Awesome. But most people know that a lender, we can only lend on the lower of the purchase price or the appraisal. So in this case, Austin, we got 400 purchase prices left. So we're lending off 400, but we have that non-realty addendum. So yes. what happens? So we can't take into consideration this added value from the appraisal. So this 5K of non-realty gets subtracted from the 400. And so the loan is gonna be based off of 395. Yeah, so we kinda can see this. Now we're gonna end up with 395. Yep, and so if your borrower still wants these non-realty items, they're gonna have to come out of pocket that five grand to get it. And we've got a delta now in the purchase price. So this can really put your borrower behind the eight ball if you're not careful. And so. We don't want to do that. If the appraisal, let's just say other scenario, let's say that instead of 405, this thing comes in five grand less. Let's say this time it's 395. Well, now, now we're, we're really messed up because now we're down to 390. Yeah. So we got to subtract the yeah, 5,000 from the 395. And so the easiest way to think about it, y'all is whatever this is, if there's a value, it is going to be subtracted from whichever one of these comes in less. And we've got a whole nother video about that. Um, so we don't want you guys to sabotage your transactions by putting values on the non realty addendums. And we'll hear some people, Oh, we just put a dollar. No, zero, zero, yeah. zero is the magic number. Yeah. So putting a value can cause a problem. And so that's why we're huge advocates of putting zero, but, Let's expound on, on the solution. So yep. we're fans of non-realty addendums. Use them. Just don't put anything on the value. Right. Um, but what's the first solution? You find the house. You see the furniture. We're about to make an offer. What would you advocate? Yeah. So one thing you can do is let's say you know that this house is going to come in above the purchase price and you'd like to get some of these items included in that. Well, the easiest thing to do is go ahead and write your non-realty addendum. Don't give it any value. Zero. But go up on your purchase price. 405. Yeah, offer 405 and ask for the $5,000 worth of stuff on there. If the house appraises for that, fantastic. Woo! That house, that house is worth that and it's yeah. totally cool that that stuff is included. Yeah. Um, so that's the first you know way we would advocate handing out. Let's say- That's if you know upfront, that's what your buyers want the stuff that's in the house. But the yeah. thing that comes up all the time is yeah, the middle, other one. yeah, middle of the transaction or right after or inspections or at final walkthrough or something. Yeah. You're like, ooh, I really like that painting. Yeah, let's add that on and we get an updated addendum to the contract and we're mm -hmm. like, oh, this one's a non realty mm -hmm. addendum. It's got a value. So let's put zero on it and then what we would say for the client. Handle it outside of closing. Yeah, just so it. yeah, put zero dollars on that and then you know, let them, it's totally cool for them to buy a painting or a couch or a boat. 
just it can't be included in here. And the reason why it can't be included, if you're wondering, it's like, well, I mean, that's a Picasso. It's a $50,000 painting, you know, whatever it is. Anything that's non-realty, couch paintings, it has what I call legs, <laughs> which means it can walk away. Yep. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Oh, thanks for... It can walk out of the house. Yeah. So we don't finance, I mean, as much as we love all that stuff, we don't finance it. We finance the permanent structure. Yeah, we lend on things that cannot walk away. So don't try to include a non-realty addendum with value on something that can walk away. Yeah, and we get that question every once in a while. Why does it have to be zero? Explain that to me. And this is why. There's no tangible benefit to the sellers, to the buyers, or the agents involved, even to the lender. There's no tangible benefit in adding a value to that non-realty addendum. So we're advocates of doing zero, and then you know we just shared two ways to maybe approach that, handle it post-close, or just trying to put it in that purchase price initially and seeing if it appraises, and if it doesn't, then you just handle it post-close or yep. out of closing, so. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Yeah, that's Keep it, it. simple, y'all. Here's zero. It. Adios. Peace.